A series of Warner Robins car break-ins has people in the international city taking notice. Zach Merchant joins us now live to explain what happened and how widespread the problem is. Well, the sun has gone down. It's dark out right now, and this is when a lot of those break-ins take place. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Police say it's not uncommon to see these types of crimes spike during the holidays, and data shows that a lot of the break-ins happen nearby each other. Take a look at this graphic. You can see across the city of Warner Robins, there were about 30 car break-ins between Saturday and Monday, but some areas got hit a lot harder than others. There were four break-ins reported on Southland Station Drive, several more near Marion Way in the neighborhoods nearby, and at least a half dozen in the apartment complexes near Leisure Lake Drive. The big apartment parking lots are a tempting target with so many cars close together, but break-ins don't only happen there. In my own house at my house somebody stole my car so it's crazy Cresha wilson lives on brentwood drive a sleepy cul-de-sac off of fagan mill road her son's car was parked outside the house on friday it was locked yeah it was when according to a warner robbins police report somebody broke into it and the family says drove away with the car you can see it all from the family's video surveillance system it shows four guys you can see the four and they've got their camera or their phones with their lights on and you know, no, we were shocked. You know, seems like so much crime lately. Now, you can't stop every single crime from happening, but Warner Robins police say there are steps you can take to reduce the chances you become a victim. And most are common sense. Lock your car. Don't leave valuables in plain view. And if you're doing some holiday shopping, don't leave the gifts you just bought unattended in sight of wandering eyes. But still, sometimes thieves find a way. Wilson's son, Cole Simmons, says his car was locked, but it still got stolen. It's definitely something I think about every time I park it, you know, something. Like, It'll it can happen to anyone. Now, some good news for Cole. He says law enforcement tells him that they have located his vehicle. The not-so-good news, he says they're not releasing it back to him just yet because it could be used for evidence. In Warner Robins, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. Thank you, Zach. In the Leisure Lake area, Warner Robins police say they arrested five teenagers for breaking into cars. They all now face multiple criminal charges.